I'll present to you our new product, Any Logistics, which is currently in development, and we are going to release this early next year. First, um, I want to start with this statement. That's actually, if you're, you probably already noticed, that's on all Any Logistics banners here. Every supply chain is unique. That's what we learn from our own consulting experience, as well as from the experience of our partners uh, and customers. Because um, what is, What is really a supply chain? The supply chain is something which usually historically created and, and, and is being developed. That, that's um, that what uh, affects all the business you have, all the business processes in your company that's related with the supply chain. And uh, sorry, the supply chain is, is what is distinguish you from the competitors. And in many cases, and probably the most we were dealing with, the, actually the cost of supply chain is, high, is higher than the cost of production of, of the products. Uh, and that's why actually there is no universal solution for the, oh, sorry, for, the, for, for the supply chain of how to organize that. So there are, the, this is just the uh, common questions which usually you have to address when you design your supply chain. Where to put the new facilities, warehouses, distribution centers, manufacturing sites, cross docks, and so on. Uh, what are the best policies to manage your inventory, to define your sourcing, how to organize transportation. Yeah, you may use outsourced transportation or your own fleet. So all this so influence on your supply chain and how it works. Uh, yeah, you, you usually want to check how robust is your supply chain, how it will react to, to the fluctuation of demand or fluctuation of production. What will happen if you introduce new product, let's say, or if demand structure will be changed? What will happen if you, let's say, merge with another company, maybe you buy them, maybe they buy you, maybe you just decide to organize the joint logistics, uh, because of some reason. All those questions have to be addressed with a supply chain manager, so those who are actually responsible for the supply chain design. And basically that means that the supply chain, that's not something fixed. It should be continuously analyzed and adjusted to the changing environment, to the changing conditions. There are two main ways to answer to answer those questions. First of them, this is well known to you, so this is analytical approach where you use formulas, spreadsheets, uh, equations to describe your supply chain. The second one, you're also aware of that, this is simulation modeling, which describe uh, supply chain as a set of rules. You just describe the behavior, how your supply chain works. Uh, at the moment, the most supply chain optimization tools, they use analytical methods, and certainly both of those methods, they have like advantages and disadvantages. So let's talk a bit more about them. Um, analytical methods. Actually, the, uh, the advantage of that, that optimization with analytical methods is relatively fast. It can be taken just probably a few minutes, maybe an hour, depending on the size of, of, of the problem. Uh, but if you look at the di disadvantages of that, uh, supply, uh, the analytical methods, they do not allow you to describe the supply chain as it is. You always have to do some simplifications of your system to be able to map your supply chain to this analytical world. And so only that's the simplification, they're quite significant. So you have to abstract from many things like uncertainty, in many cases dynamics, certainly that's, Mark did this comment last time, so that's, uh, system dynamics actually, the, this approach allows you to take into account some dynamics of the supply chain, but again, that requires a lot of simplifications. Uh, and certainly you are not able to address all the specifics of your supply chain behavior. And actually, this is a black box, and you never know what will be the results. It can be like that, yeah, or it can be like that. So you, you're never sure 
right? So the, the analytical system which works for probably similar problem may provide completely different results for almost the same problem but a bit different. So, and you, you have no control over that, no way to check. If you look at simulation modeling, yeah, you, you all know that. that. There are a lot of advantages. You may, uh, you may have animation, you may catch uncertainty, you may describe any kind of behavior, many, many things uh, which uh, makes uh, simulation available to you. Uh, but certainly there is disadvantage to optimization over simulation always takes, always takes time because it requires multiple runs of the model and it depends on the computing power how fast it can be done. But if you look at real supply chain problem, do you really have infinite number of alternatives you are just want to test? Never, you will never plan your supply chain from the scratch. You always have something and want to test Okay, if I build a warehouse here, uh, does it make sense or not? I have just two spots to do that. I have to decide which one is better. So you always have a limited number of alternatives. It may be one, two, five, okay, 20, maybe 100, but usually not more. Just because of you, you will never invest just in the building the supply chain all over the world within the, let's say, next year. So, Sony, that uh, gives the opportunity for simulation modeling to be more broadly used for the, for the supply chain uh, analysis, optimization, and design. So what is any, any logistics? Any logistics is a software for, to design, optimize, and analyze your supply chain. It can be used on both strategic and operational levels. And actually, it provides you the possibility to customize the user interface to the end customer needs. It supports both analytical and simulation modeling methods, which complement each other because of simple analytics is used to get the first approximation for your simulation model, which then can be extended uh, with uh, any logistics as well as with any logic. Um, also, it provides you the full visualization capabilities. So you may see how your system works. You may see the dynamics of this system. You may see how the system reacts to some external events, events, whatever, which again creates the trust into the supply chain model you are developing and you're analyzing and the trust in, in the results of that. How, to, how it works. I mean, how any logistics works. There are scenarios which describe your supply chain. Then you can do experiments over those scenarios. The results of the experiments, some experiments, may be converted to another scenario, and again, this scenario can be used for another set of experiments, and so on. And all those results finally are used for the decision making. Any logistics key differentiators. End-to-end -end supply chain modeling. Basically, that, that means, uh, yeah, you, certainly you, you may model the, the whole supply chain, but also you may consider the elements of this supply chain in more details. You may extend the, let's say, the warehouse uh, pre-build model, any logistics pre-build model with any logic, adding the the real facilities, let's say forklift tracks, people, uh, shells, and so on, as well as with the manufacturing demand or any other supply chain activities or components. So you may model this not only like outside, but also inside for walls. Extensibility with any logic. Uh, that, that, this is very important thing. So um, basically, you see, if you would try to develop any logistics in the way any logistics itself would uh, provide you the uh, possibility to model any kind of supply chain in any kind of specifics of this supply chain, finally we would end up with the, with any logic. So. 
Basically, what any logistics does, it provides you like the basis for your supply chain, which usually takes about the 80% of the development time when you're just trying, when you uh, do the real implementation. And you may focus on the specifics of this supply chain, just developing this uh, uh, uniqueness, let's say, addressing this uniqueness of your supply chain with any logic. Um, Sony, I already said that Sony simulation is, uh, provides much more details to you, which allows you again to, to make more precise and more detailed analysis of your supply chain. So uh, product flexibility, this is, well, I, I mentioned this a bit. So um, the, the idea is that the consultants who are doing implementations, they will be able to provide some level of flexibility to the end customer, allow, allowing customer to do some changes uh, in their models, in order they, they in, in their supply chain models, in order they could test some assumptions them, themselves and contact consultants if they want to do something significant. Thank you very much.